In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So we take a moment to confess our sins together. We have not always worshipped God our Creator, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We have not always followed Christ our Saviour, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. We have not always trusted in the Spirit, our guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so, the collect for the Feast of St Peter and St Paul. Almighty God, whose blessed apostles Peter and Paul glorified you in their death as in their life. Grant that your church, inspired by their teaching and example, and made one by your Spirit, may ever stand firm upon the one foundation, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. As for me, I am already being poured out as a libation and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you O Christ. Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, let me read to you the little bit of blurb that I have in, in my book for today about this feast day. It says, Peter has often been called the Prince of the Apostles because of the words of Jesus renaming him from Simon to Kephas. This was the Aramaic form of the Greek word Peter, which means rock. Jesus said that on this rock he would build his church. But both Peter and Paul came to be seen to be having different roles to play within the leadership of the church. Peter in witnessing to the lordship of Christ and Paul in developing an understanding of its meaning for Christ's followers. Peter and Paul have been remembered jointly on this day since the very early days of the church it being regarded as the anniversary of their martyrdom in Rome in about the year 64. I think it's quite nice, actually, that those two great apostles of the faith, Peter and Paul, 
are made to share a feast day together. Because Peter and Paul couldn't have been more opposite personalities. Peter was kind of a rough fisherman, no education, um, was there with Jesus all the way through um, his ministry. Paul was an extremist. Um, he persecuted the church. He, he stood by while Stephen was stoned to death and held the coats of the people throwing the stones. Um, and Paul was a highly educated Roman citizen. Two very, very different people. Um, and they're there sharing a feast day and they're sharing the feast day because they both were united in Christ. It reminds me a little bit of, do you remember when we got peace in Northern Ireland and there were those photographs of Ian Paisley and Martin McGuinness, two men who were absolute enemies for the entirety of the Troubles, both held up as examples of their side in the debate. And there were those photographs at the end of the two of them laughing their heads off together. And they were nicknamed the Chuckle Brothers. And anyone that saw that photograph thought we would never see the day. All through my childhood, every single Sunday, in the intercessions, we prayed for peace in Northern Ireland. And then on that day, later, much later, when peace was found, we saw that photograph of Ian Paisley sitting and having a laugh with Martin McGuinness. And I would almost argue that the image of St Peter and St Paul sharing a feast day isn't far off that image. Two very, very different men. They probably wouldn't have got on in normal circumstances. But in Christ, they were united. And that is the power of God. That is the power of the cross. It unites both sides. Um, in the letter to the Ephesians, Paul writes that God has destroyed the dividing ba barrier between us and we are reconciled in Christ. And so if Christ can do that for Peter and for Paul, he can do it for us as well. So today we think about reconciliation. We think about those situations in the world that seem unreconcilable and we pray for God's Holy Spirit to be at work so that we might see the two sides being reunited in Christ. So let us pray. Let us pray to God the Father who has reconciled all things to himself in Christ. For peace among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and let peoples grow in justice and harmony. We pray for further collaboration over fighting coronavirus and give thanks for the work of scientists around the world, scientists who wouldn't normally share data with one another, but who are doing so in order to search for a vaccine. We pray for continued reconciliation and collaboration around the world and that this time of the pandemic will bring peoples together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. We pray especially for our government at this time, making very difficult decisions. We pray for the leaders of Leicester City Council and for those whose businesses will need to be shut down again. We pray for all those preparing to reopen businesses this weekend and we pray for all churches as they prepare to reopen and welcome people back through their doors. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. And we pray by name, especially for Reverend David Hull. We pray for John Wybrow, for Gordon Bradbury and for Arthur Stamper. And in a moment's quiet, we say the names that are on our minds and on our hearts knowing that God knows exactly what they need. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We've been talking and thinking about Christ the peacemaker. Maybe you would like to think of somebody that perhaps was once your enemy, but who you consider a friend now because of Jesus. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you all. Do share the peace by with the people in your own home and also by commenting or giving us a little thumbs up on Facebook if you're watching on Facebook. Share the peace with one another. So we prepare the table. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your son Jesus Christ to be our saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death, and so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, 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 God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St Peter and St Paul and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So we pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, 
for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. The body of Christ broken for us, keep us in eternal life. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for us, keep us in eternal life. Amen. body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. So we pray together. Thanks, Thanks be, be to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, for Lord all the benefits you have given me for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, in these days of mercy, make us quiet and prayerful. In these days of challenge, make us stronger in you. In these days of emptiness, take possession of us. In these days of waiting, open our hearts to the mystery of your cross. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bow our heads to receive God's blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.